Hello friends, it's me, Mousy again, and Swiss Dispatch Love Entertainment. Today we have some more info on the much anticipated Conjuring 3, slated for release in September 2020. While James Wan will earn himself yet another producer credit, this time the Warren's worrisome adventures will be directed by Michael Chavez, the man in charge of The Curse of La Llorona. The film will be titled The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It, and while James Wan has previously stated that the latest instalment won't follow the same formula as previous Conjuring flicks, it will still be about Ed and Lorraine Warren, who will again be played by series mainstays Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga. This one will also see the addition of Rudy O'Connor, Sarah Catherine Hook, and Julian Hilliard to the cast. The movie will be based around the 1981 trial of Arnie Cheyenne Johnson, known as the Devil Made Me Do It case. The murder trial which shook the American public and even took its toll on hardened veterans of the macabre the Warrens. Taking place in Connecticut, like all good possession movies apparently, the defendant on trial tried to use demonic possession as his defence. The story centred around the possession of 11-year-old Dave Blatzel, a boy who lived with Johnson, who reportedly began showing signs of demonic possession, such as hearing strange disembodied voices, marks appearing on his body, and seeing visions of a strange creature in their house. The usual fare for one of these James Wan films. The creature was said to have left deep scratches on the front door of the house, seemingly corroborating Dave's visions. The Warrens were called in, along with a priest who presumably did all the heavy lifting, and an exorcism was performed on the young boy. This only signalled the beginning of the family's ordeal, however, as the demon then moved on to Johnson. Under the influence of the demon, Johnson attacked the family's landlord in February of 1981, stabbing him multiple times with a pocket knife while snarling and growling, quote unquote, like an animal. During the trial, Johnson's lawyers tried to claim he was not responsible for his actions because of the demon what was in him. The movie will presumably follow along with the story, embellishing as and where James Wan feels the need. And now really, all that remains to be seen is just exactly what bizarre creature will feature in the film and its inevitable standalone spin-off trilogy, a la The Crooked Man, The Nun, Annabelle, etc, etc. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the latest news, reviews and trailers. And until next time, film fans, take care.